the street. Well, that's what that button does. Hi, Internet and Casey. This is my label 25 and 52. This week has kind of been a whirlwind for me. Uh, last weekend, we went out of town on a sort of impulse road trip down to St. Louis and I went to City Museum, which I've been wanting to go to for literally years and just never found a good time. Because I love like scrambling all over things and exploring and like all that fun stuff. Um, and going down big slides. And we also went to a couple cool food places, got delicious barbecue, and just sort of generally enjoyed the road trip. Um, it was pretty great. Now, this started before we left and kind of, and uh, sort of like it lightened up while we were there because I was happy and everything was great. Um, and a couple of days into being back here, I just, you know, my brain was doing some stuff, but not like normal depression stuff, stuff like making me doubt going to grad school was the right decision and feeling like, once again, I'm stuck in Chicago for infinite winters forever. Yeah, the cat doesn't like that either. Anyway, <laughs> I've been doubting the decision to go to graduate school and reconsidering just looking for a new job in the area. I'm doing that because, you know, oh, what if I'm just looking at schools as escapism from my current job, which is not the case. Like, I mean, it's maybe a teeny bit the case, but there's plenty of other reasons that I want to go to school and stuff. And I can always look for another job and then go to graduate school. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I was having all kinds of, like, wobbly, doughty feelings, um, and then yesterday... I think this was yesterday, I posted a question to ask Metafilter, being all like, Metafilter, please tell me if this is a terrible idea. Is public health school terrible? Is it strenuous? Is this possible to sound like a good idea? And most of the answers I got were people who were in public health or very close to someone who were, and they were like, oh, you know what, this actually sounds like, you know, it sounds like a good idea. And I described some of my health stuff because I've been having some issues with that also just lots of aches and pains and in my hands which means I can't do anything which is really frustrating um, and, you know the consensus was basically you know if you can hold down a 40 hour a week job yeah you can manage going to grad school um, and they gave me some good ways to look into what people actually end up doing with that kind of degree and what that consists of and how to find people I might want to ask about what they do for a living. Um, and you can actually read it if you go to Ask Metafilter, ask.metafilter.com and look for public health stuff. Mm. Oh, related. I am taking the GRE this weekend and it is horrifying, not horrifying, the other one. It is terrifying. Uh, I've been learning a lot of math very quickly. Relearning is more accurate than learning. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure I will really get to do a full practice test again before the test, so I my, my score will legitimately be a surprise. And I'm not that comfortable with that, but I think it makes more sense to study parts I know I have a problem with than do a full practice test, including things I pretty sure I'm going to be fine at. So that'll that'll be the big stressful chunk of the weekend. I'm planning pretty much nothing else. Like I'm getting together with a friend later in the day, Saturday, but no other concrete plans for the weekend very intentionally because it's all been sort of angled in towards that. Yeah, the weather's been really weird here. Today the high was, I want to say 88 or something, and on Monday the low was in the 40s, and I just, like, it's at that point where I'm just like, I give up. Every season in Chicago, or the Midwest in general, so you know this, but whatever, has a, you know what, I give up moment, and in the summer it's when it's been like 102% humidity and for like two weeks and your air conditioning broke and everyone's air conditioning broke and everyone's upset. Um, and in winter it's everything is below zero forever and you just don't want to go outside. You really don't, but the dog needs to pee. And 
in the spring and the fall, it's like, what, I, yesterday, it was different, now it is different again, what is happening to me? A lot of people get headaches, uh, like me. I want to get out of this. Um, of course, I'm probably going to end up someplace where that just intensifies the, uh, middle of the summer heat, but everywhere will have air conditioning, so it'll be different, right? Maybe? We'll find out. Anyway. I love you, and I think that's all. I'm going to load this into my computer and put down the internet. Two thumbs up. Cat. Cat. This cat. This cat. Mm -hmm. Play the cat tar. See? Air cat tar.